hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here this follows when we have a times a which can be written as a squared but the same thing multiplying here can write it as 3 to the power x all squared equals to 60 from here the next step here this follows when we have a raised to the power m raised to the power n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power mn. At this here, this power multiplies, and we have 3 raised to the power 2x equals to 60 from here. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log 3 raised to the power 2x equals to log 60 from here. The next step, we apply the power of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, which is equals to p log m, then here the power is 2x, and this becomes 2x log 3 equals to log 60 from here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 3. Divide this side by log 3. Also, divide this side by log 3, which implies here log 3 cancelled each other. And we have 2x left, which is equal to log 60 over log 3. Then, next step here, we can express 60 as. 3 times 20, which implies here we have 2x equals to log 3 times 20 divided by log 3. Then, what we have here follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b that is this here this becomes 2x equals to log 3 plus log 20 over log 3 and also here we separate this into two fractions and all we have becomes 2x equals to log 3 over log 3 plus log 20 over log 3. That is here, log 3 cancel each other. We have one left, which implies this becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 20 over log 3. Then also here we can write 20 as 4 times 5. Then what we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 4 times 5 over log 3. Then here this also follows on the law of logarithm. We have 2x equals to 1 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 3. Then from here, we separate this into two fractions, and all we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 4 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3. Then, next step here, also 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2, which is something as 2 squared. Then all we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 squared over log 3 plus log 5 over log 
thing from here we apply the power law of logarithm 2 comes here all we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 then here we apply change of base when we have log a over log b this is the same thing as log a to base b then what we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 as this here we divide both side by 2 divide this side by 2 also divide this side by 2 that is here to cancel each other we have x left which is equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 so here the value of x is 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 then let's check here if this satisfies uh, this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 is 3 plus log 5 is 3 all over 2. Then what we have here becomes. 2 raised to power, 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 then times also 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 60 on this side? Then from here, same base multiplying follows when we have a raised to power m times a raised to power also same power. So we have m. This can be written as a raised to power m plus m, which is 2m. That is, yeah, this becomes 3 raised to power 2 times 1 plus 2 log. 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 then is equals to 60 on this side that is here this power multiplies and 2 here cancelled each other we have 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 then is equals to 60 from here. Then here, yeah, we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n. This is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is here, yeah, we have 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 is equals to 60 from here. Then 3 raised to power 1, same thing as 3 times here. We can reverse this 2 from power log. That is, this becomes 3 raised to power log 2 square base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. Is it equals to 60 from here? That is, this becomes 3 times 3 raised to power log 4 base 3 times. 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 is it equals to 60 on this side then this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b same thing here this is 4 and this is 5 so we have 3 times 4 times 5 is equals to 60 from here 
and 3 times 4, that's 12 times 5, that's 60, which is equal to 60 on this side. Now, we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, here we conclude that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 is 3 plus log 5 is 3 all over 2 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class, and bye for now.